is it easier to play a piece from a composer who is not alive anymore or a composer who is still alive? I love to work with composers who are alive. I think it is uh, very inspiring for us. You can ask him directly and, and very straight, what do you want there? Do you want it more? Do you want it less? Which instrument is for you at this certain passage the most important one? Yeah, it's a kind of polyphonic development, mm -hmm. and that works itself up to the chromatic undercurrent. It is is written for Jaap, but not as a portrait for Jaap or so. But this piece, Solemn Night Music, that is actually on the same wavelength, I hope, <laughs> as the source of inspiration that is the drive of Jaap's conducting. Whatever it takes, you need to have a melody. You need to have the possibility to sing along from inside. And I strongly believe that if there is a melody, if there is a song to be played, if there is a sort of a recognition when you hear the piece for the second or third time, then it is a good composition for him. I would very much like the audience have the feeling that they have become, in some mysterious way, more aware of their own emotional inner world. It, it's about his music, it's about his quality, and it's about the connection which he makes uh, from his heart to the music. And that is, and that is for me a very important ingredient uh, for my audience, because I think that our audience wants to really to connect with what they hear. And this is actually what, what happens with his music.